Hello, I'm Michelle and welcome to this week's Halloween themed stretches. Um, so you're going to need a chair today and we're going to do some gentle movements. Um, as always, take it easy and if anything doesn't feel right then just sit that one out. Um, and I don't know if it's because Halloween's approaching or what, but I've been hearing some strange noises um, around the house. But I wanted to, to get the video done anyway for everyone, but um, yeah, let's just, let's just crack on. So, um, okay, so get in a nice comfortable seat in your chair. So, so you want to have your feet nice and flat on the floor. Come towards the edge of the chair, so we don't want any kind of slouching back like that. So sit up nice and tall. So you bring your heart up. There we go, roll those shoulders back. There we go. So the first Halloween inspired movement we're gonna do. So we're gonna pretend we are a bat. So we're gonna get that the wings going of the bat. So get your hands ready at the side of your body, okay? And then we're gonna stretch out the arms. So imagine you're flying like a bat. So bring the arms up and then bring the arms down. So we're going to do this nice and slowly, so a nice gentle stretch to get started. Okay, and we're going to do five more of these. So as you bring your wings up, you can look up towards the top of the sky. And then as you bring them down, you can look down towards the ground. Do four more. So bring the arms up, look up towards the sky, and then bring the arms down. So keep going. Stretch those arms, look up to the sky. You could take a nice breath here in, and then let it go as the arms come down and the head comes down. Okay, so two more. So bring the arms up. Look up to the sky, breathe in, and float the arms down as the head comes down and you can breathe out. And last one, so the arms come up, breathe in, and then float the arms down as you breathe out. Okay, brilliant. Okay, so for the next one, we're still going to pretend to be a bat, right? So we're going to bring the arms out this way, so out and back slightly, so just as far as is comfortable. And then you're going to bring the arms forward and wrap them around you, just like a bat does when they're sleeping. And we can curve around just a little bit. So we're going to do that again, so opening up across the chest, so bring the arms back. And then again, wrap yourself up again. And try and remember to cross your arms the other way around this time. Okay. So keep going, we'll just do a couple more of those. So open up the arms wide. And bring your wings in, wrap them around you. And gently curve forward. And again, so bring the arms out, open the chest, arms wide. Wrap yourself up once again. Okay. We'll do this once more on each side. So bring the arms wide. Take a nice breath here. And then wrap your arms around you as you breathe out. And then last one. Bring the arms wide. Breathe in. and slowly come back up to sitting. Okay, so for the next one, um, we're going to do a side stretch of the neck. So this is the one where you pretend you've got like a ball. So place it onto your neck and then roll the shoulders back and you're just going to gently squeeze that ball to one side. Okay, so this one looks a bit like a zombie. If you bring the arms up, and do the zombie arms, so there we go, zombie arms optional. <laughs> okay, and then bring the arms down. You can bring the head up nice and gently. 
So again, now imagine you've moved that ball from that shoulder over to this shoulder. So we're gently going to squeeze that ball to one side, not going too far. And once you've got into a good position, if you want, you can bring up your zombie arms. Okay. And then you can just float them up and down. So for this one, um, we're going to do a gentle curve of the spine, so we're working on the spine now. So this one's the pumpkin, okay? So get your feet flat on the floor, knees out in front, and you're just going to gently start to curve the spine round, so just curving over. You can rest on your elbows, you can bring your elbows onto your knees, and we're just gently curving round and let your head Feel that nice curve all along the back of your spine. And take some nice breaths here. I I heard something here. Must be imagining things. Um, so yeah, just keep taking some nice breaths here. Hello everyone, um, sorry about that, I'm not, not quite sure what happened there, um, all a bit spooky but um, let's just keep going anyway, okay. Um, so I think you were all in pumpkin, um, so yeah, so if your elbows resting gently on your knees, just curving your spine around there, you can gently release the head, just Gently rolling from side to side if that sounds good for you. And you can imagine we're making that a nice curved shape of a pumpkin so you can feel the curve all the way down the back. The curve on the front of your body as you rest on your knees. to roll up. So you're stacking each vertebrae on top of each other as you come up through the spine. So then we'll bring up the shoulders and the last thing is the head. Okay. And just take a couple of moments here to get back to normal. Okay, so up next we've got stirring which is groove. So if you can bring your hands together, so imagine you've got in the middle of your hands a big spoon to stir this big witch's brew. So you start stirring one way round and you can make these movements as big or as small as you want. Yeah, it's completely up to you. So these are nice movements to do for your upper body. are good for the muscles in the front of your body, your stomach, your back, strengthening them, also working on the shoulders as well, and the upper back. Okay, so we'll do another one on that side, and then we're going to start circling the other way round. So imagine stirring that big cauldron. your stomach muscles moving and working. So you make these movements. You can try to draw them in. So that your, your tummy button comes in towards your spine. So pull that in. So do that. Okay, we'll do one more. We can definitely start feeling it. So now we're going to start coming down, right? So we're going to bring one knee up at a time. So lift one knee up. Okay, and I'm going to turn this into a zombie walk, okay? 
So you can bring the hands up, so the wrists dropped in front. So as you bring your knees up, you can bring your hand up too, just like you're doing a zombie walk, seated in your chair, okay? And you can bring your knees as high as you want. Okay, we'll do a few more of these. and down okay and again you can make these movements as big or as small as you like so bring one hand up bring that knee out and drop to the floor and then back round to the center and down okay up out and down Now we'll do one more on each side, okay? So again, bring up the knee, bring up the hand, out to the side, drop down, lift up the knee and the hand, back to the middle, okay? And last one, so bring up the knee and the hand, out to the side, drop down, and back out. Okay, right, so next we've got some ankle stretches. So if you need to, you can support your leg, you can have it, you know, here or higher, just wherever it allows. So just gently circle the ankles one way. And again, you can do this nice and slowly at your own speed. A little bit faster. And then we're going to circle the other way as well. So we've got two more stretches and then we're done. So for the next one, we're going to do a side stretch. So we're going to imagine um, we're making like the shape of a crescent moon. So sit up nice and tall. Um, so you want your feet flat on the floor in front of you with hip width apart. So sit up nice and tall, bring up the heart, roll the shoulders back. And then we're just going to drop to one side. So we're letting one side, one shoulder and drop to the side. When lengthening all along this side of the body, okay? And you might bring your hand on your hip or your waist there, might be good for you. And you might be able to bring that arm up to make the kind of crescent moon shape. But if that's a bit too much, then just keep your arm here. We're just feeling, we're going to make a little space, stretching all along this side. So try not to collapse forward or back, we want to stay nice and upright. Okay, and on your next breath in, we're going to come up to the top. And as you breathe out, let that arm drop down. So now we're going to do it on the other side. Okay, so the shoulders back. Thank you. 
got the chest here. Some coffee, fresh air into the lungs. Around in your stomach and let your hands just fall wherever they are, and then you can turn your head round. So it's almost like you're looking just to see if there's something behind you, but you're keeping your feet flat glued to the floor in front of you. So just turning round, behind you, and take out, and then take a nice breath in and come back round to the centre. Okay, good. And now we're going to do it on the other side. So let's breathe in, hands come up. And then gently we're going to twist round. We can breathe out. On your stomach we're twisting. Let those hands fall. You might have one on your leg, one on the chair, or both on the side of your body. So sit up nice and tall. And then again, you can look round and have a check, is there anything lurking behind you? twist you might just want to curve around again so you could just come into a pumpkin and just roll up nice and slowly again okay. and now you can kind of get comfy in your chair um, you could do some relaxation here so you could take some time out just to and think about how your body's feeling, how your breath's doing. And you can put your hands onto your stomach, on your chest, and just feel your body as you breathe in. So we're going to stop the video soon, but feel free to keep relaxing, nice and comfortable in your chair. Okay. So I'm going to slowly open my eyes um, and say thank you to you all for joining us this week. So I hope everyone has a great Halloween. Um, yeah, and I'll see you again soon. So thanks again. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.